Okay, so today I'm going to show how to use Orbit's flexible dates as well as their matrix. Um, I find this to be really helpful, especially um, when you're when you're searching for flights on other websites. You're kind of you're having to look multiple times to see how much the cost is. Say if you wanted to go on weekends, you'd have to search every weekend in that month, and you'd have to do you know at least four searches if there's four weekends in that month. Um, but with Orbit's matrix, it's going to show you a grid, and you can actually see every weekend with just one search. Um, so the way you're going to start this out is you're going to go to Orbits.com, come down here and click on Flexible Dates. And I'm going to do Chicago to um, Los Angeles, which airport code is LAX. Um, I have flexible dates selected. I'm going to go to option one, which is weekends. So this is going to check any flights that are leaving on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday and returning Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. So let's check that in August. Come down here and click find. So now it's showing me this grid of all the weekends in August that I can travel. Um, it's showing me leaving Thursday, Friday, Saturday, returning Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. So here's the first weekend, second weekend, third, fourth. Um, obviously, when I look at this, I would want to travel these next or those first couple weekends in August, as I can tell that, that it's a little cheaper here, 239, 239. Um, down here, it seems the price seems to go up a little bit to 274. So really quickly, I've just been able to decide when I should travel, you know, based on the price without having to search more than one time. Um, what's really helpful too is you can come down here and now I can click the next month and it's going to show me the same kind of grid just at a different month. So let's start over with a different type of search. This time I'm going to use option two, which is bonus days. Uh, this would be helpful if I knew the exact week, maybe I had a week off of work or something like that and I knew I wanted to travel in that week or maybe I had 10 days. Well, I could search, you know, I knew that maybe I wanted to go October 10th to October 18th, but maybe I actually had 10 days off, so I could do a day before or a day after. But those were the ideal dates. So that's what I'm going to do here. You could go up to three days on either end, but this time I'm just going to do a day before or a day after. Come down here and click Find. And so really quickly, again, I can see... Um, the exact dates that I picked actually happen to be the cheapest. Um, I obviously wouldn't want to travel on this date, this date, or this date because they're a little higher. And these ones, that little one in the right-hand corner there is the number of stops. So I would have to stop one time and be laid over rather than the ones with the zeros, which I don't even have a layover. I can just have a direct flight. So let's go ahead and start over again. Let's use the last type of search, which is the flexible date uh, stays. This is helpful if you know the length of the trip that you want to do. So let's say I want to do a four to six day and um, sometime between November 1st and November 30th. Let's check Dublin this time. Note that you can't search more than 30 days when you're doing the flexible stay search. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click find I'm searching Chicago to Dublin. So it's showing me all the four to six we all the four to six day trips in November really quickly, and those prices seem pretty good. Um, you know, anything under a thousand bucks is decent. <clears throat> Let's check and see maybe if I could go in the summer if it's the same price. That's a much different price. It looks like I'm saving about $200 if I were to travel in November. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a really helpful search. I hope you find it useful and um, you know, use it next time that you decide to travel. Thanks.